The new movie doesn't have the same kind of aura as the old one does. The old one is typically considered to be cursed because a lot of... Oh my god. What oh, slammed? That is unfortunately coincidental. I don't like that. Welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween, and if you haven't been able to guess based on the, what are probably one of the most iconic lines ever in movie history, horror history, um, I did a double feature on the Poltergeist movies, the ones from, the original from 1982, and the remake from 2015. So I I had never seen either of these movies before. Um, although with the way the original Poltergeist is in the uh, cultural zeitgeist and in pop culture and like the references are everywhere, I almost feel as though I've seen the movie um, without I, I before this. I feel like I had almost seen the movie without actually seeing it. Um, I had throughout like watching sh other shows talking about horror movies and then just like the movies that made us and things like that. I had already seen like the pool scene with the skeletons in it, um, the little girl doing the they're here part and um, the ghost hand coming out of the, the television and the clown. So like I had pretty much seen almost every single influential part of that movie or like meaningful part of that movie. Um, without ever having seen the movie and I almost wish I could go back in time to like 1982 so I could see this movie without having all of that nonsense not nonsense but like without having known all of those parts already because it was almost kind of difficult for me to like I, I didn't like the new one at all the new one was it felt super unnecessary um, after having watched both of them, I watched the newer one first because I had never seen it before. Um, and I didn't know anything about it other than that it was a Poltergeist remake. So I was kind of hoping it would be a little different. Um, that there would be maybe a little bit of a different storyline. Um, but it was almost like a shot for shot remake of the movie. And it took out some of the cooler scenes. Um, the clown really didn't play as big of a role. There was no pool scene. Um, although there was a pretty cool scene with the older daughter in the garage. Um, and actually there was a whole really neat sequence with all three kids where they're all three of them are being attacked at the same time, which was probably the best part of that movie. Um, the rest of it was, it, it dragged, um, considering the newer one is only an hour and a half and the older one is almost two hours. The newer one felt considerably longer, which it should not have. Um, the acting was also not great. I, I, I'm not, I wasn't a fan of Sam Rockwell in this. He seemed very just like overblown and caricatured. Like he, he just wanted to overact his character. I didn't believe his relationship to the mother or the kids. Um, whereas in the older one, everybody's relationship with each other is way more believable. The only time the characters kind of annoyed me was when the older daughter is acting hysterical because she is just she's sitting there like pulling on her bottom lip at one point because she's freaking out so bad it's just I, I don't know if that's just how her actress wanted to play it or if that's what she was told to do but that was just a little overwrought one of the other things that they changed was how the youngest daughter says they're here so in the older one she has like this creepy kind of almost excited sort of voice like when she first meets them in the tv and she's like they're here like that that little kid sort of voice and that's actually that kind of carries over into the mother who sort of treats the whole infestation almost like she's having fun with it like her husband comes home from work and she's sitting there like come here come here you have to look at this look at look at what we're doing with the ghosts and like she's sliding her daughter across the floor and stuff and it seems almost like she's having fun with the spirits and then until she's not whereas in the remake it's like there is no fun to be had um the little girl almost seems afraid of the spirits immediately even though like she's been talking to them because she goes to her parents like they're here like she's warning them and nobody has fun with the spirits the way that the mother in the first one did um 
So it, it sets a different tone, um, maybe because in 2015 we're a lot less likely to be having fun with these sorts of things because we've experienced it so much. We know that like, all right, if stuff starts to haunt the house, we should probably just get out, like not hang out and have fun with them because they're likely to become evil spirits very quickly. And both movies also touch on the, I guess, horrors of technology. The first one opens where you're really, really close up into a, a television screen, and you can't do this anymore because you they don't have the screens pixelated like they used to. Um, but you could see like in between the different pixels and like the lines and the television, and it's so close up, and you're you're seeing all these um, images of old stuff and and the music, and it's 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 very creepy in a way. Um, and then the first one starts with like these these big overarching views of power lines and the oldest daughter's like I can feel the tumors forming already power lines um, And then it just kind of continues where like the family is constantly being threatened by this technology whether it's through um, Electricity or the television whereas we're, the monsters are kind of coming out of the television um, or the spirits they're not really monsters um, and then in the newer one, the old one, they don't really make use of, of technology to help them um, in the same sense that they, they, they do in the new one. In the new one, they actually use a drone um, to do some investigating. And I thought that was kind of stupid. It was almost like, I understand, like in the original one, you don't get to see what's inside um, this other space that the daughter gets sucked into. Whereas in the newer one, you do. I guess that was their way of trying to expand an, on the idea, considering they had basically just redone the entire thing. Um, like, almost shot for shot. Like, it, they, they didn't really come up with too much new. So they were like, oh, we have this new technology. Let's try and make use of it. It really didn't hit quite right for me. I thought it was kind of like, oh, we have this thing. We may as well use it. Kind of like how when some directors have a lot of, budget and they just throw CGI effects in there just because they have the money to. That's almost what this felt like with the drone. It was like, well, we can use this drone. Let's do something with it. I think it would have been way more impactful if they had just sent someone in without getting this kind of advanced knowledge. Um, it, it almost takes away from the stakes because if instead of you being anxious and anticipating, you know, what are they going to see on the other side? What are they going to see? What are they going to see? What are they going to see? It's like, okay, we'll just send this drone through. And if the drone gets destroyed, it, it kind of doesn't matter because it's not a living thing. The old one is considered to be um, cursed. And, and I'm doing this a little slowly because I just had a door slam. <laughs> because weird things happened on set um, and then two of the characters dies. So the younger daughter, Carol Ann, um, I don't remember her actress's name. And then also the older daughter, I believe it was her, um, also died. Shortly after filming, um, and then there's a bunch of other murders and deaths that tend to get attributed to this movie being cursed, um, which happened like years and years later. Um, you know, and I watched a very interesting program uh, that talked about, you know, is this movie really cursed or is it kind of just like because we attach so much meaning to it, we find other meaning in things that don't necessarily mean anything. Um, we're just kind of connecting dots that don't really that 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 really aren't connected um, So it's just kind of interesting to, to look at that and think about it um, Especially when you hear these rumors that the skeletons in the pool were actually real skeletons um, Because they couldn't afford to or didn't want to spend the time and energy on finding fake skeletons I'm not sure how it is easier and cheaper to get real skeletons rather than fake ones which kind of makes me think that this isn't true. I've heard both that it is true and that it is not true. Um, it is obviously cooler and creepier if it is true. Um, but I'm kind of under the impression that it's not. If this had been done maybe in like 1930 or earlier, I would have believed that maybe the skeletons were real. But being that this was done in the 70s, kind of don't believe it. Um, so as far as ratings go, the newer one gets worse ratings, like the word ratings there are like in the 30s and the 40s and the 20s, whereas the older one gets much better ratings. 
So it gets a 7.3 on IMDb, and then Rotten Tomatoes gives it like an 89 and a 73, respectively, for critics and general viewership. I give the new one a 3 and the old one a 6.5. And, and again, that's because I wish I had seen it originally, because I think that without knowing so much about it, it probably really would have creeped me out, like especially as a younger kid. Um, unfortunately, with the way culture and society are, we, we tend to find these things out even though we don't want to. Um, my friend gave the older one a nine. He really loves this movie. And then the newer one he gave um, a six. So he, I guess, felt a little better about that movie than I did. I thought it was just, I thought it was a waste of time. There was no need to have that remake. We're gonna talk about some spoilers real quick. So if you haven't seen either of these movies, now's the time to exit. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. And I will see you guys in the next movie. In the ne next movie, in the next video. Um, but for those of you who want to stay, we are moving into spoilers! So really the only spoiler that I want to talk about is the fact that it was kind of annoying that, at least in the newer one, that this whole property was, or development, was supposed to have been built on a cemetery where only the headstones were removed but not the bodies. But for whatever reason, only this specific house seems to be being affected. Um, the new one kept it like that, whereas the older one focused a little more on, um, or not focused, but the old one at the end when the family is finally getting out of the house and leaving, um, you actually see other parts of the neighborhood kind of like blowing up or being on fire or there's uh, tombs, not tombstones, coffins popping out of the ground there. So they kind of covered that base um, because it seems a little weird that I understand Carolyn um, or Carol Ann was the one with the special abilities, but I mean if these spirits are all trying to get to the light and they're all mad that they have houses on top of them, you would think that they'd be reacting the same way in other places as they were in this specific house. So I like that in the older one they kind of addressed that. It wasn't just this sole issue in this one house. It was more widespread. It was just more pronounced for this family because they had the child with the special abilities. The second one didn't address that at all. It was just their house that was messed up and like that was it. Which for me, I know it's a poltergeist movie. It's it's unrealistic or if, if you don't believe in that sort of stuff. But like at least keep it consistent within the film. You know, if, if, it's, if everything's built on this, on this cemetery property, everything should be kind of being affected, not just the one house. Um, so that is it for today's video. Thank you all for coming by and, and hanging out with me. Uh, go check these movies out. Maybe not the not not the newer one. The original one definitely. The the newer one not so much. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys in the next video. Just don't get sucked into any otherworldly dimensions or television sets. Bye. A siren. I have something in my eye. It's really annoying because I can't I can't touch my eye because there's makeup on it and I'm just blinking so much in this video. <laughs> Something is not funny. I need to get this out of my eye. Maybe this movie really is cursed. It cursed me with having something in my eye. Did anything happen with people's eyes in this movie? I don't remember.